I'm here at Old Orchard Beach. I've already done three videos here in the past. Why not do a fourth? Oob is the closest thing to Florida us Mainers have, and this place would be so much better if uh, the snobby French Canadian tourists weren't so nosy, both figuratively and physically. Let's see how the people are feeling here today before a tsunami strikes and kills us all. Here at Old Orchard Beach, I am not at a candy store. I'm at the candy store here in Old Orchard Beach. Join me today as we find out how sweet it feels to sell candy here. Do you know the story of how this candy store started? We used to have a candy store on the pier and this spot opened up, which is a larger spot, so it's just a natural fit for us to move into here. How much pride do you take being the best candy store on this beach? Well, I appreciate that. Um, we, we love it. We, we take a lot of pride. We like to keep a nice clean shop, good customer service and take care of the tourists who take care of us. Do you know what the best selling candy is here? Um, pretty much anything blue raspberry flavored. It could be like blue raspberry flavored dirt and people would buy it. Now you told me uh, before we record that you do volleyball. I mean, you've got a pretty tall statue. You're, you're kind of towering over me a little bit. <laughs> what candy would you say gives you that great sugar rush before a volleyball match? Probably the like mega malt balls. Those are really definitely underrated candy. Um, not everyone's favorite, but definitely good. Those are my favorite. Good chocolate, a little bit of carbs in there because of the like toffee. So that's my favorite one. Man, when it comes to volleyball, uh, just a volleyball question because I don't know much about it. Yeah. Why is it that every time the ball hits the ground, all of everyone in the same team just has like a quick therapy session. They just come together and they say, it's okay guys, next point. Uh, you're basically figuring out who to blame. Okay. And yeah, who's getting kicked off the team next. I can see why they put you in the ice cream section to scoop. Look at those things. It's a lot. It helps a lot. What kind of workouts do you do to get something like that besides scooping ice cream? We do like gym, boxing, training as well. Okay. So yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff. Nice. And this, I bet candy does not help when it comes to cutting weight to getting ready for boxing. Sure, for sure. America what? and candy just like... <laughs> they don't mix, but yet they try to. I, I feel like I have a pretty good offense, but when it comes to defense, I need to be good at slipping. What's the tip for slipping? You have to slip, you have to use your legs. Okay. So you have to always use your legs. You can't just slip with your arms and your body. You got all the body. Okay, just so slip with it. Throw, throw a slow jab at me and I'll try to... Let's go. Oh, good. Good. Ooh. Good. What is the secret to scooping some killer ice cream here? The biggest secret is just you have to do it very fast. Very fast. And strong. You go through all of it, make a good, nice scoop, get it out fast. Uh, yeah! That's good, that's good. Uh, so I'm gonna give you like peanut butter what is one candy that you love the most? Well, this is a candy that we get from Haven's Chocolates in Westbrook. It's called the Katahdin Crunch. And this is a toffee and caramel. And you have to absolutely try it. It's amazing. Oh my God. It was so good, I dropped some. All right, so we have a shirt for you. Um, so you're now official at the candy store. Whenever you come here, you can work anytime. So this is from Maine Maple Products in Madison, Maine. It's uh, some Maine blueberry jam, maple syrup, and wild blueberry honey. I wa thank you so much, David. I I'm so flattered. You definitely have to visit here the candy store, not a candy store, <laughs> the candy store at Old Orchard Beach. Thank you so much, David. I've been a professional balloon twister for going on 20 years now. What got you into it? Um, my wife and I actually started a pet store of all things, and then uh, we wanted to do something for our grand opening, so we taught ourselves how to do a few balloon animals for the grand opening. Pet store didn't take off because we kind of cared who the animals went to. <laughs> But ended up uh, transitioning, just doing balloon twisting full time over on the Strip in Las Vegas and Fremont Street. Got hired for parties, corporate events, uh, whole nine yards. I call it the Ninja Poodle because you never see it coming. <laughs> wow, just like me on my date night. If Tom Brady wasn't the face of New England sports, who would it be? Ooh. Well, Tom Brady is a traitor, I surmise he's not the face, but Jason Tatum. Yeah, I would say JT or Brad Marchand. We can go with history. You can always think about Bill Russell or Larry Bird. We can go back in time, not... Larry Bird, Larry Bird. Larry Bird. 
for sure. Easily. But for currently, current, current, right this second, it would either be JT or Brad Martian. I'm gonna say Larry Burt. Love that man. Um, I would say Rob. Yeah, I would say oh, yeah, he. Yeah. I took a picture with him. He's fucking huge, Ashley. Oh God. He is gorgeous. Rob, if you're watching this. Yeah. I'm Let your girl. Know. Let us know. Call yeah, me. I think he's happy in Tampa. Uh, Randy Moss. Randy Moss, but he only played a couple seasons with New England. Yeah, but he's still got the best career there. What is the worst personality trait someone can have? Ooh, being selfish. Unreliability. Like, if you have someone put there as, like, your emergency contact, and you call them and they don't answer, and you're in a dire situation, that's unreliability, and that's messed up. Well, look, he's in the middle of the game of Fortnite. Let him be. He plays Siege. Still, even more toxic. Please see, he's, if he's playing Siege with his friends, he doesn't pay attention to anything else. Oh uh, no, he's trying to peek around every corner. Yes. And try to wall bang people, then it's try to talk it's trash it's in group chat to all the 13 year olds. <laughs> gotta love Siege. Oh, I hate Siege. Ignorance is bliss, yeah. I fucking hate somebody who's like ignorant because you're like, man, educate yourself. You live in ignorance, it's America. Yeah, I know, yeah, that's, no, that's one thing I'm struggling pay, with here. You guys can still pay attention a little bit. Probably just their, you know, cockiness sometimes, like, especially with, with women sometimes. Take a look at them, it's like, uh, can you really be that cocky when you look like that? You know, it's just like, I'd probably go with that. Peace out, guys. This is Haley, and this is my other this friend Haley. Haley. We're out of here. Bye. Cheers. Will it work? Will it, like, go, like, to, like, a screen? I don't know. <laughs>